Tag is a great annotation tool, but it can be used far beyond object annotation and classification. It is also often used to provide contextual information about the object or image, and is a great data organization tool. Now let's see how to create and apply tags in our platform. Let's say that I want to apply a tag to this car object right here. First, I will select it in the objects list. And right here, it says that there are no tags available for this object in my project. To create one, I can go to the project settings or just click this button right here. Keep in mind that the tag creation is a one-time procedure and you only need to do this once per project. First, let's type in the tag name. Then, we can assign a hotkey and change text color. Next line configures text applicable area. It can be set to images, objects or both. I will set it to objects. Also, we can select classes this tag can be applied to. And the last thing left is possible values. None means that the tag will not hold any value. Text and number value tags will prompt you to enter the according value upon creation. And with one off, tag can only have one of the values you define. I will select the latter and add my values. Let's click create button. And now the tag is created in my project. Now I can quickly assign it to the car object by right clicking on it. All the tags are displayed by objects. Once we have the tags created in the project, it's really easy to apply them. All the image tags are displayed in the top left corner of an image. It is also possible to apply the same tag multiple times. But before doing so, we need to enable this functionality in the project settings. Back in the toolbox, and as you can see, we can assign the same tags multiple times. This functionality is very useful for consensus labeling in combination with labeling jobs or queues. All the details about that can be found in the blog post. The link is in the description. It's also worth mentioning that the potential of working with tags doesn't end here. We have numerous apps that allow to work with tags in one way or another. All of them can be found in our ecosystem. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching.